<laughs> Heck yes, guys. Good morning guys, I am out in eastern Nebraska today. Came out here yesterday after duck hunting to uh, get ready for deer season. This is deer camp, aka my parents house. But uh, we're doing some duck hunting this morning. It's the day before the rifle opener in Nebraska. Scout, hey, Scout. He's saving his energy. Day before the rifle opener in Nebraska and we're headed out to get some ducks. My dad went out. Yesterday said they saw some geese and ducks, but they didn't get them in, so we'll see what happens. How are we going to do today? We're going to do excellent. <laughs> Kill them dead. This is the chef, guys. Also known as my dad. It's still about 10 minutes before shooting light, and there's about 30, 30 geese out there on the other side of the pond. See one snow goose and a lot of little Canada's. Hopefully they'll swim this way. So we didn't get the geese. They took off and went the other way. We were hoping, you know, if they they would either swim into us or they, you know, pick up and fly around, and give us a look. But went the other way. Seen some snow geese flying. Just heard a couple Canada's on the off in the distance. They can't hear us though because of the wind. But I have found that seeing few birds is a lot easier to see them when you're in a heated pit blind with the with someone making breakfast. No, no, no. <laughs> he ain't leaving because he smells the, the bacon. Holy crap, what the hell you guys got in there, he says. Now look at that, guys. That's a $20 panhandle right there. What's on the menu today? I think bacon, eggs, and pancakes. All right. Gonna go a little light. <laughs> We're roughing it today, guys. Haven't got, haven't fired a shot, but <laughs> Touch your lid, it's still a. <laughs> Still a good day out here. And I know we're kind of set up terribly for this wind. It's more of a west wind. It's supposed to shift over to more. That wind's really coming through here. We've got to turn the second burner on, guys. This might make me soft after this weekend. Here they come. Here they come. They're coming right off the point. Get ready. Get ready. Oh, they're gonna land out too far. Dang it. Unless they curve in. Nope. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, shoot. Okay. Dang it, they came out, came the wrong way. I looked, yeah, I heard them. I thought they were closer. Where the hell are they? That's what I thought. And there's a lot, a lot of geese flying. Ducks just kind of come out of nowhere. Well, that's just it, but if you aren't looking up when they head over. Yeah, you, you got to watch for these ducks, especially. We got to be able to watch them on the, when they're going to, you know, bank and get them right over, right over the decoy spread. They're trying to land out on that point. Well, I just had a flock of mallards give us the first shots of the day and didn't get them. But then some teal just came and landed on the other side, so hopefully... Hopefully we'll get some more in here. Finally seen some ducks, so that's encouraging. The wind is really whipping up. We still got some snow flurries flying. Hopefully we get some geese in here. It's about 10 o'clock. Give her another hour, but this heated pit blind thing, I can get used to this. It's a lot nicer than what I'm used to. <laughs> don't even, I don't see them. Got two. 
Get that, hopefully he gets that cripple one first. Get him. Nice shooting. I know I got that first Drake and I, I think we double tapped one. that one. Oh uh, yeah. That's the one I was shooting at too. Was it? Yeah. Because he hung there. Yeah, I didn't see him at all where you said and. I didn't know there were mallards at first. You, oh, he, he's going after the live one. Look at that. Good job, Scout. <laughs> he was on him. Got two out of that group, so. <laughs> Should have had a few more, but I'm not gonna complain about that. First greenheads of the blind too, right? Yep. Get ready. Did you get one? Yeah. It's 1040, we waited them out. We should have had a couple more mallards earlier and some teal kind of gave us some looks too, but now it's snowing, the sun is out and it's windier than all get out. And they're they're coming in, all it takes is a little, little talking to and they want to come in about where that lead gadwall is they want to dump in here so i know this isn't the ideal setup but with the way this blind is and how deep this water is it's pretty much the best we can do and we're getting we're getting some in here now that teal wasn't hit the best he was still pretty lively but he swam to the other bank scout was right on him and then lost him started coming back that teal's right in here somewhere scout should find it Especially with the wind here. Hey, dead bird. Batch him up. Batch him up. Good boy. Good boy. So while I was looking for that kill, Dan had to ring that in. He shot the drake. Or he had a pair. Shot the drake. That was that. Scat and I went over, tried to find that teal. Ended up finding him. And he swam back out and dove. And I, we couldn't find it where he walked up, you know, where he popped back up. We watch these waves though, it's just so hard to find them. You know, he wasn't hit the best, which sucks. I hate losing birds, but. While I was doing that though, my dad managed to shoot a nice ring neck. So we got that for him, but I hate losing birds. Has a nice drake teal too. There's geese right out front. They landed. That's. Yeah, they're swimming this way. They're coming all the way. <laughs> all right. Well, that works just as good. Where's the wounded one? Oh. There. Come here, Scout. Come on, you got some work cut out for you now. We got four. Yeah. All right. There's one. Got three more down. Good boy, Scout. Good boy. Good job, bud. Good job. You got those geese, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. There we go, got a little honker action, guys. First goose of the year for me. I think we both got two. That was awesome. They didn't, they didn't land into us, but they swam. They landed right on that point. That's where I, I looked up and like we heard them honk and we we're like, where the heck are they? And they landed right on that point. And then my dad can look out his under his lid here better than I could because the camera sticks up. And so he was just, he was watching them, telling, you know, giving us the yardage and stuff. And First mallards and geese out of the blind. And they don't see hardly any flying, but they came in quiet. I didn't hear them. I heard. That must have been what I called before I saw them land. I didn't see them. And I just made a couple toots because I heard some. I never did see them. But they were probably already on, about on the water when I called. <laughs> well, but yeah, I looked up that. The only time I saw them is they were swimming and they were coming up. 
like beeline straight for us. I could see right through this crack, and at one point I had to go like this to see how close, and they were two. Those two were in the deep. <laughs> we called it. We called it at the right time. Well, I was afraid those others were going to get nervous and hang out. And they did hang up, but they were still all of them yeah. were within range. But those yeah. two that succumbed early. Yeah, we probably should have had six down, but. <laughs> Heck yes, guys. We're not done though. We're taking a break and we're gonna be back. It's got a good lunch in us. It's about three o'clock. Now we're going to hunt the rest of the afternoon for hopefully some ducks, get some more ducks and geese in. We can only shoot six more geese and uh, eight more ducks. They were sitting in the decoys. Did they fly? Yeah. I looked up, there was three out front, and then there was two right here that got up, right as I said that. In the decoys landed? Yeah, like five yards. Like right up by that goose decoy. Why didn't you jump up and shoot them? Well, I didn't see the two until they got up. It's round two for the day. We just got out here literally five minutes ago, and you know, getting all the cameras reset up and all that good stuff. And I look out and there's, see three mallards about 60 yards out past the decoys. And then when I look up, you know, try to look up to see what they're doing, there was two more right in the decoy spread that we could have shot. And needless to say, they all took off after they saw me get up out of the pit. That's a good sign though, hopefully. Hopefully we get some more. We're not seeing ducks flying, but they just dump in. It's crazy. <laughs> I got three. Oh crap, tri cripple. Four down. Yeah, I got two with one shot. That one's crippled out there. Get oh, teal, get teal, teal. Nice shooting. That's kind of fun, guys. Got four down. Got to find. Got one out there. Scout retrieved another. The other one swam in here. And the other one's... There he is. He's swimming out there. This one swam right along the bank here somewhere. Dead bird, Scout. Right here. Scout, dead bird. Scout, dead bird. Get her. Get her. Get her, Scout. Scout! Good boy! He's going to the island, Dad. He's got a beeline right for the island. Good boy, Scout. Good boy! There we go, guys. Six ducks. Quacked them in real softly, and they swam in. The pair hung out tight, So, but we got, got all the four that were right out here. So I'm at four ducks for the day, and Dad's at three, and we each have two geese. Well, I guess my dad's at four if you count that teal we didn't find. <laughs> but that was awesome, guys. That was awesome, and look at that. Gorgeous drake. Nice curls. And a nice Susie. She'll eat up real good. We're just gonna call that, guys. It's about five o'clock, 15 minutes before legal shooting light, but it's getting a little cold, and uh, we're just gonna get out of here, let them find a place to rest for the next couple days because it is deer opener up for rifle season tomorrow, which is what I'm gonna be doing. I'll trade my shotgun in for a rifle, hopefully for only a day, so I can get back out at the ducks. But I need some venison in the freezer as well, and we'll see if we can't get a deer. But this was a really fun day. I'm glad we came back out here for the afternoon hunt. 
I only got that one flock of mallards, but we had a couple teal buzz in and another flock that if we've been paying attention, they did about the same thing as those ones did. But we had six just come in and we got four down. I pulled a double with, you know, I shot two with one shot. So that's awesome. I don't think I've ever done that on mallards. I, and I might've done it on geese today too. I'll have to go back and look to be sure. But I think I pulled a double on geese and mallards, which after the last week of my crappy shooting, especially yesterday is a welcome relief. <laughs> that's an end to the day. Took a little break, got some lunch, came back, got four more ducks. So we ended with seven ducks and four geese on the day. That's a pretty good day. Yeah, that was, that made the afternoon worth it. Yes, it did. Good little day of hunting. Hope you retained everything I taught you today. Yeah. All I learned is breakfast in the blind is better than anywhere else, and heated pits are a lot nicer than when sitting in cat Dad Bad cooks it especially. Yeah, but when, when anyone makes you food, it's nice, but when when it's in the blind, it's that much better. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Finally got into some birds. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Really helps me out. Drop a comment. Let me know what your thoughts were. Did you guys, were you out hunting this migration? If not, you should have been because there was a huge push. The birds are finally on their way. Guys down south, they're coming your way. Be ready. Drop a comment, though, letting me know if you've gone out or if you're going rifle hunting. Let me know. I always like hearing from you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already seen. Stay up to date with our latest hunting and fishing exploits as well as cooking videos, hunting, how-to tips and tricks. And we'll see you out there, guys.